Alrighty, so I got a few minutes here. I'm gonna work on this HP laptop. So what it is doing? Let me grab off the customer and note. Uh, if you hit the power button, you get the screen to turn on. We get the HP logo. We get the pinwheel, and it's upside down for you, of course, but it's also upside down for me. So yeah, yeah. And then it will sit on this pinwheel for a good while, and then it just goes to a black screen. I've tried doing any type of system restore and all that, none of it's working. So we're going to swap out to an SSD and see what the hard drive looks like. The hard drive might be in bad health. So I'm hold the power button, forces it off. The model number is a TPN-C126. That's what we're working on today. So step one, get a bowl. Get a screwdriver. Take the battery out first. Always take your battery out. So we're going to remove these pads right in here. Make sure to reveal some screws for us. There's one. And good lordy. Uh, there we go. And there's the other screw. Now let's just pop out the screws. One. And then just as I take out the screws, I check to make sure that they are all the same. As long as they're the same, they can go into the same pile. So we had two screws where the battery was at. We got one under each of the rubber foots. Beats. Let's take out this screw here in the center will let us slide out the CD DVD drive. Just like this. So there's no screw under the CD DVD drive. We're actually going to move these parts over here. And we're continuously having up the same screws, which is a good and easy sign for us. So because there's a screw here, it makes me want to doubt that there's any screw under this front rubber footing. We're going to take out this USB mouse dongle. And last screw on the bottom. Perfect. Now we got all the screws out. Go ahead and open it back up. Now what we're gonna do it. We're gonna take our plastic spudger, and it has uh, this corner edge here, and we're just gonna run it along the edge, letting it pop up the sides. There it goes. And then we should see it separates pretty easily. Just gonna close the screen back. Perfect. And we're on the inside of the laptop. So first thing we're gonna do, find the hard drive. There it is. Perfect. And just unscrew it. So it looks like it's held in by three screws. One. Two, three. I'm going to go ahead and pop off this cable so we don't have to worry about it. And I want to take off these side pins. And then uh, in this bowl, you realize that I've created different piles. So that's all the back screws. There's there are three to hold the hard drive in. And then these here are going to be for the uh, brackets. Perfect. 
No, oh, can't get that one with my hand. There it goes. I get a little more force behind it with the uh, electric screwdriver. All right, so I'm going to take this hard drive, and we're going to pop it into the test bench. And I got to grab the USB plug test bench, USB in. All right. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see what this use or this uh drive looks like. Loading up. All right, perfect. Looks like it found the drive. Updating partition information. All right, sweet. Let's see here. Doesn't have too much data, so I'm going to use a smaller SSD. So I got one over here. I don't, let me grab one from the front. Basically, all I'm going to do, you can hear me still, is uh, I'm going to pop this SSD in. I'm going to duplicate his data over to it. And then we're going to see if it will boot from a new SSD. So this is the SSD of choice. If you can even see it. It looks like it froze. Yay. All right, that's what we're going to do. And then uh, we'll see if it works. But that's the teardown for this video. And uh, hopefully you learned a little something real fast. And I'll see you all in the next one. And stop stream. We're almost there.